did the episode feel rushed? Kind of. There was plot points that kind of should have got explained but didn't and it got left on the cutting board on the cutting board and we kind of left with who are those characters, what they're meant to do, and what... Yeah. Unless you actually read a light novel, half of these characters that actually appear, you're kind of like... Crap, do I meant, am I meant to know who they are? And you kind of just get lost in the fact that you just don't know. And yeah, this episode did do that. It didn't do it, and it didn't do it too well. At first, I thought the Shell Tear fight was going to happen this episode, and it's going to go straight into something, a complete different arc and an end. Because I think what Madhouse is trying to do is trying to end it so they can't do a sequel. That's like, that's what that's my Madhouse um, interpretation. They're kind of trying to do it as if they won't make a sequel, so they're trying to end it in a way that the sequel won't happen, because you know Madhouse and sequels. But again, it could not. It can't happen. It might. It might happen. I'm not too sure. Because the light novel is still going strong. Because the anime is kind of this really popular thing now. It might just make it to se a sequel. Again, I'm not too sure. But for me, I would personally wouldn't have never never done this anime as a twenty as a twelve episode anime. It needs at least thirty six. Because when you look at the content in the, in the light novels and in the manga, or less the manga, but um, more in the light novels, you kind of need a lot of episodes in order for this manga or sorry, anime, to carry on to a point where it can be, it can end at a sustainable place where it won't feel like it's been rushed. And yes, my my fear came true. They did kind of rush some of the plot points. Not all of them. Some of them kept, kept were well, kept fine. But just certain plot points could have been explained a bit better or carried on. Like, they could have explained... Like, there's one part of the episode where the guy, I think it's called Blown or Blair? Or something like that. I can't remember his name. The guy with the blue hair. Kind of got, he was in the intro. That's how I, I kind of got. I was kind of impressed that they actually got him out. But yeah, he kind of runs away, and then these people kind of capture Shouty. You don't even know who they are. They're sort of just there, and it's sort of like, yeah, if you explained who they were, I'd be able to understand what's going on. But you just never, they never explained it, and it kind of felt like there should have been an episode in between. Shouldn't have been an. Over, they should have done a like almost like a side OVA episode, which could have kind of explained some of the f things that happened in this episode. Was it a bad episode? No, it wasn't. The action was good. They did censor the violence, which was pi what pissed me off because never has I've seen Overlord being censored and Overlord was censored this week. I was like, oh. I mean, one of the guys got his chop head chopped off, censored the whole thing. I was like, oh, come on, the Black Lions. Why are you here? Why are you here, man? I don't like you here. Get out of here. But yeah, they censored it and it didn't look good. It did, it kind of it kind of fitted the idea because it's, it's it was shown in darkness, so it didn't you didn't really take away from the illusion, but you can definitely see it was censored, and it wasn't it didn't need it because again, there's people getting their arms chopped off, their legs chopped off, and heads chopped off, and it was completely fine. But oh no, decapitation can't have that. No, no. I would say this is the low point of the series, but I think maybe they might up it in episode eleven and twelve. But I would have thought maybe they should do what every other, every other anime company is doing at the moment. Just separate the seasons. Put season one as this this season and put season two as the next season or the season after. So we can break in between. You have one punch man and then have that as season two. And you could, it could work. It could just generally work and it just would be a better idea. But at the moment I think Madhouse are just trying to just stop everything they're doing and just concentrate on, on one punch man. Which again isn't a bad idea, but still, it need that it's just it's too much content you can't avoid in these kind of in these kind of light novels. That's why I'm kind of pissed off about Coral Crow Connect. It just has too much content, you just can't stop. You have to carry on. It's just eh. But when are we gonna get season two? Never. But anyway, with all that said, I'm having a driver. I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.